you can see Scuba Steve going at me. Oh man. Oh, I wish I had the camera on folks because he almost took it out of my hands. Good. Oh yeah. That's a fish right there, dude. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. So for today you're going to see me, Rashawn, Kevin, out here waiting for some snakehead. And today, unlike many of my videos, I am out here on a mission to fill the freezer. So what you're going to see at the end of it is a little bit of catch a cook action. You'll see how my family likes the food <laughs> and hopefully enjoy the action on the water. I'll pass along some tips along the way on lures, techniques, and my analysis for what I think these fish were doing and where we're going to be in the near future for the snakehead bite. All right, folks, let's go fishing. Oh, he was right on it. He was right on it. I'm not sure why he didn't take. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, I just got here. Yeah, I'll probably be up there in a minute. Yeah, yeah, come on, man, because the, tide, the tide's way out and it ain't done going out either. Huh? I said the tide is way out and it's not, not done going out. No, it's super high and super low. Got it. There we are. I'm on. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Well, we got the skunk off. I think this guy had already hit it twice. And that's on that tickle maracker. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for your sacrifice, little buddy. Oh, there you go. That's a beast. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good one, dude. Yeah, I'm doing a straight up freezer trip today, bro. Now, I'm not going to keep any Dragon class fish, but other slot fish, they are coming home. I mean, I've had a couple following me just left and right out there. It wouldn't quite take it. I'm going to grab my bag and take it out there. There she is, folks. That's a better fish. That's the kind of harvest size fish you like right there. Freaking perfect. Try and bring it right along this clump of grass here. I think that's going to be a hot ticket. Oh, one just rose right next to it. Oh. Oh. Dang it. That was him. He just bit at it. Oh, man. I had one right in front of me, all squatting down on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. He followed it. He bit short twice. Ugh. That was intense, man. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, I'm going to have to try a frog on these guys. They're just not quite taking the buzz bait. Oh, oh I had one short strike it. He just short struck it. Is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I saw the action. I was like, "Is that a fish?" And I was like, "I couldn't tell until I saw you skating him in." Oh, blessed be. I just spooked another freaking monster. All right, folks. I got a few ha kind of half-hearted hits on the buzz bait, but none that really took it. And I'm seeing too many snakehead. I know right. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Oh, ha 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 ha. We'll put it right back on him. We'll cast past it. Bring it right through those weeds he's been sitting in. He's right there. I just saw him to the right.
take it, you fog. He just grabbed it by the tail and took it down. Ooh! <laughs> I had to work him with a subsurface hit. And he's still, oh, you freaking rascal. <laughs> oh, he followed that thing so far, dude. He followed from this grass mat out here all the way to right in front of me. Short striking son of a gun. Oh my god. Oh, bro. <laughs> I just had freaking two of them on it. <laughs> it's all right, man. Oh, he's on you. He's on you, bro. I might do something. Oh, how you gonna miss it like that? It was sitting still. Lord God. Look at him. Can you see all that? Yeah. Jesus. That that that's them. That's oh, that's right where I knew they were. But they are just hitting that tail to death. What's up, bro? What's up, man? They chewing? Say again? Are they chewing? Ah, kinda. I mean, I've, I've landed one. I've had a lot of other follows and short strikes, but they're not taking it like I would like. I mean, they're moving. You know, yeah. we're definitely getting movement and reaction to lures, but I think Kevin has two now and I have one, but we've got a lot of follows and short strikes. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Are you just sticking top order? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, according to what? Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He came back three times. Yup. Oh. I just got short struck again. <laughs> and I, I got a trailer hook on this thing, man. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh, apparently I had a big snake that followed it right in front of me. That was a good cast. Oh. Oh. The short strikes. Holy crap, the short strikes. Oh, he. It's like. I don't know what they're doing to it. They're hitting it. But they're hitting it in such a way that I just cannot hook them. They're getting close to spawning, man. They're getting real close. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> mm, short striking little. I'm not even using a trailer, bro, to try to avoid freaking short strikes, and they're still short striking me. Mm, again. I don't know if they're hitting the blade or what they're hitting, or if they're just bumping it or what. But they ain't taking it. The other maps. Ooh! That's some braid biting bull right there, bro. We <laughs> should try it again, try it again. <laughs> that was a blade waker? Oh, my bad, dude. Let's fight it out, bro. Me and you. <laughs> Like eagles in love in flight, man. <laughs> we were in two different spots on the rocks. Yep. Yeah, we made long casts. Do you see? Clink. <laughs> You're clear, bro. You ever seen Scuba Steve going at you? Oh, man. Oh, I wish I had the camera on, folks, because he almost took it out of my hand. Good fish. Oh, yeah. That's a fish right there, dude. Woo. Come here, Grips. God, he hit like a ton of bricks. Yeah. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. You're gonna knock yourself out. <laughs> there she is, y'all. All right, beauty. 
Thank you for the ride. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rod tip is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> oh, fish on. There you are. Hey, I walked over here first, bro. <laughs> you know, you're right. This is your fish. It's a little baby. I'm stealing your little babies. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. You go get a little bigger. Ooh, gotcha. Little guy, though. Come here, you little rascal. Look at that. <laughs> Little itty bitty. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, that's not a mini either. It ain't a big one, but it's not a mini. Oh, nice jump, dude. <laughs> there we go. You will be my one more. You'll be my last little harvest here, guy. Yeah, I know, right? Don't do it. You ain't got to do this. Ow! <laughs> my tenders. Oh, he d at me. <laughs> he got me right in the... That's a nice shot. I hope I'm getting that, because if I get this, it's going to be a really nice thumbnail. Oh, yeah, my right though. <laughs> Folks, I came out here today on a mission to fill the freezer. It's mission accomplished. There we go. Yeah, got to get home. Got fish to fillet. Work to get ready for tomorrow. Best producing lure, I think, was the Blade Waker. I did catch on the Tekel Maracker, but... Had a lot of short strikes, a lot of follows on the buzz bait when I first got here, but Blade Waker saved the day. <laughs> All right, folks, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and have a go. And for the catch and cook portion here, I'm going to keep it pretty short and sweet because it's very, very simple. For the ingredients for this recipe, salt, pepper, garlic. You have your red curry paste, which is the real kind of star of this dish that sets it apart, as well as some fresh onion and tomato that I sliced up. I took all of this, put it into a foil packet, put it on the grill. But the violin is when you're cooking on the grill, you're looking for that fish meat to be nice and white and flaky. As far as the taste testing goes, you can see my kids here. This meal definitely got the vote of approval. I really enjoyed it. My wife enjoyed it. I'll be eating more of it from leftovers <laughs> for today. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And have a good one.